Okay, what do world music and iconic Japanese artist and Beethoven have in common other than mm. the makings of a great party, it sounds no like No doubt. They're all featured in this week's Weekend Zone with our pal Nancy Guppy, host of Art Zone on the Seattle Hello. Channel. Hello. Hello, it is so Hello, nice to Dr. see you. Hello, Dr. Dever. Yes, I'm, I'd like <laughs> everyone doctor. to call me doctor from now on. Well, you are the doctor of the arts world. I love that. That's Tell a, us what your prescription uh, my is prescription. for this, That's this perfect. coming That's perfect. Yeah, my prescription. Okay, so we're going to start out. Seattle, as you well know, mm -hmm. is a festival town, so there will be no surprise that there is a brand new festival uh, hitting our fair city. Mm -hmm. It's called Northwest World Fest, and the focus of it is African art and culture. So the creator of this festival his, uh, is an artist, tech guy. His name is Abdul Ndiaye. He mm -hmm. works at Microsoft. He's originally from um, Burkina Faso. And uh, Abdul believes that art is the universal language, the connector of, of all of humans. This is the way mm -hmm. that we can cross our borders and our, you know, our the boundaries. Common, the common language. The common language. Yeah. So the festival is going to include visual art, jewelry, food, dance, and of course, top notch uh, music, oh. uh, including, um, that I looks like some, some food right some there. good food. It looks too, really yeah. delicious. Um, so some of the um, musicians, there's really virtuosic uh, guys, kind of mega stars in Africa and Europe. One of them is Alpha Yaya Diallo. He's kind of, I would say, the Bruce Springsteen of Europe and Africa. Oh, so wow. it's super high level. Alpha so, Yaya Diallo. Diallo, Diallo, right. I had to work on saying that correctly. That's, you did great. Thank you. So um, Abdul, his vision is to grow this thing into a week long or two week or whatever it is, global event. Uh -huh. He's starting with Baby Steps, and so it's a one-night-only event. It's on this coming Saturday, the 20th, at uh, King's Hall on Beacon Hill, Excellent. which I've never been oh, to, that but sounds I, it fun. sounds really great. It'll be, it'll be rocking. Yeah. Um, okay, so second, um, and you might be familiar with this, it's a wonderful locally-made web series um, that came out in 2013 called Rocket Men. I don't know if you've, mm -hmm. you've heard about this. Webster Crowell is the writer-director. So it's a retro sci-fi adventure story oh, about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's about a group of men in the 40s uh -huh. who are hired by this fake Department of Municipal Rocketry to stand alert on rooftops looking for peril, okay? Looking for danger. Okay. Now, because it was the 40s, the assumption uh, was that the peril would involve communist infiltration or, of course, giant attacking robots. I mean, one or the other. It's got to right? be one or the other, right? So luckily, of course, none of those dangers came to pass no but nobody told the rocket men that nothing had happened that they were there's no longer danger so 70 plus yeah. years later they're still standing on the rooftops with rusty uh, rocket packs on their back and oh, they're waiting to so save the great. city so the cool thing about this series um, they had a web release um, they were in festivals they were at the Seattle International Film Festival but they just got picked up by Amazon Prime. So mm -hmm. they really deserve that kind of distribution because it's an incredibly well done um, series. And so if you want to check it out, you can go on Amazon Prime and look at, I don't know how many episodes there are, but it's a really, really great one. That's great. Um, I, I, that's right it, up my alley. It, totally. I can see you being in that series, but I want to be in that uh, series. Okay, if there's, a, if there's another one, another season, I'll, they'll, okay. they'll pull you in. Yeah. I'll um, be so, the extra. I'll just be the little guy down the background. Totally. Just kind of dancing around. Or something. Yeah, just something. Yeah, yeah, just kind of get you a little bit of screen time. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's go on to some music. Um, the Seattle Symphony uh, got really big news this fall. They received the Orchestra of the Year Award at the 2018 Gramophone Classical Music Awards in London. And, and the reason they got it, the award, it recognizes the quality of the recordings that they put out on their label, which is called Seattle Symphony Media Label. I didn't know they had a record label. Mm -hmm. So that's a big deal. Congrats to them. That's cool. And I want to mention quickly that they have, um, an, there's an upcoming symphony concert. It's titled Beethoven Un. Text. And what appeals to me about this program, <laughs> first of all, is that it features music from obviously one of the biggest composers ever, mm -hmm. Beethoven, but also it's 43 minutes long, no intermission. So you can get your little culture, cultural hit, not a huge time commitment. Yeah. Uh, it's a t uh, this, uh, starts at 7 p.m. and you're, you'll be out by 8 o'clock. So it's, you know, it's one hour. They're really trying to make it more accessible to the, Which to is, the average person. They have to, because otherwise the audience yeah. is not, you know, it's getting old, right? So yeah. you got to bring in new people and find new ways to do that. Mm -hmm. So uh, Beethoven on Tux, Friday, October 19th, tomorrow night, 7 p.m., Benaroya Hall. You'll be up by 8. A lot of people don't realize the power of being in a room with a live symphony orchestra. It's a it's whole unbelievable. different animal. Than, I mean, it's great to listen to records or whatever, but, but being and surrounded by people yeah. also enjoying it at the same time. It's a very powerful thing. And seeing the artists there up there doing it, yeah. right? It's very, dare I say it, rock and roll. 
I mean, it is. No question. It's, it's live music on the highest order. Uh, absolutely. I mean, I yeah. think it's, and all that's crossing over. Classical, you find it in rock and roll sure. and vice versa, right? Yeah. All right, so finally, I want to talk about this film. Uh, it's a documentary playing at Northwest Film Forum. It's called Kusama Infinity. Mm. It's about Yayoi Kusama. She had that spectacular show at CL Art Museum. Yeah. Did last you stand year. inside one of the mirror rooms when that was here? Yeah, it actually made me cry. Yeah. It's so moving. Amazing. Amazing. So that show, it's Sam, I think it broke attendance records, I'm mm -hmm. sure. So Yaya Kasama, she was part, there's some pictures of her when she was young. She was part of the cutting edge art scene in 1960s New York. She had a real hard time getting her work recognized because mm -hmm. she's a woman. She was a Japanese woman and it was a super male dominated scene yeah. at that time. Still is to a degree, but much less so. Yeah. So she got depressed. She um, tried to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. She moved back to Japan and then she voluntarily checked herself into a psychiatric Psychiatric hospital in Tokyo uh, where they were interested in art therapy mm -hmm. and she never left right. so she lives there to this she day. lives there to this day uh, she gets up every day she goes to her studio I think it might be across the street mm -hmm. she does her painting she is so prolific and she is now obviously world-renowned a super wow. famous artist so I am um, it's a terrific documentary it's running one more day fr through Friday the 19th at Northwest Film Forum I think it's a 730 screening Highly recommended. Oh, and if you yeah. can't make it, I'm sure it'll be on Netflix. But try to see it in the theater. That sounds great. Yeah, she yeah. Is, she, yeah she's a fascinating She artist. is so fascinating. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Well, Nancy. thank you. You got right through all I that. I did. We just rocketed right through. Thank you, Doc. From one doctor to another. Doctor is so nice. I very much appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks so much. You can catch Art Zone with Nancy Guppy Friday nights at 8 on the Seattle channel. Set your VCR if you don't know, if you're not going to be home. <laughs> We've linked more information online about how you can keep up with the show and stream past episodes online. Up next, the high-class luxury car that makes you feel like you're king of the road. And details about King 5 Evening's Best of Western Washington contest coming up after this quick break. We're also on Wheel to Wheel.